Hey everybody, it's uh, Monday afternoon. Got a fairly decent day here for compared to what we've been having lately. Uh, in the lower 60s, kind of sunny. Clouds are clouds are moving in. Rain is moving in. There's north of us. There's snow and uh, freezing rain and stuff. And we're gonna be getting rain soon the rest of this week. So I figured I better better get a day out while I can. So um, today I'm gonna do. I, I figure I better get get these IPAs done. Uh, so I'm gonna do one I picked up uh, a couple weeks ago it's a stone beer I can't get locally the Cali Belgique IPA a um, little bit from the website it says when reading the name stone Cali Belgique IPA Cali hints that it is a California style IPA and this brew has an undeniable Belgian influence indicated by the word Belgique which is how Belgium's French speaking population says the word Belgium uh, the Dutch-speaking Belgians say Belgie. We carefully selected a Belgian yeast strain that illuminates a fascinating new aspect of the beer that is, other, that is otherwise quite simply Stone IPA. So basically it's the regular Stone IPA which I've already reviewed with some Belgian yeast. Uh, it says the result is both completely new and different while still being recognizable as a Stone brew and Stone IPA in particular. Think of it as an otherwise identical twin to Stone IPA that was raised in a Belgian culture. Uh, comes in at 6.9% ABV, uh, 77 IBU, so just a standard uh, stone cap with a gargoyle on it. So uh, let me get this in the glass. I'm not going to finish this big bottle, that's for sure. So I got my thing to seal it up. I'll stop right there. We got a fairly fairly clear golden color a bunch of carbonation streaming up got a couple fingers of a really uh, creamy bubbly looking off-white head it, something tells me it's not gonna last though a lot of big bubbles in there but uh, a lot of a lot of bubbles coming off the off the bottom of the glass that's for sure so let me get a nose on it Okay, I'm getting a little of that Belgian funk right up front, but mostly I'm getting lots of citrus, so tropical fruit hop, hop aromas, a little pineapple, mango, grapefruit, orange, a little, yeah, that, getting a little uh, bubble gum there from that, from that yeast, I think, um, almost smells like a, like a juicy fruit gum, if, you, if you've uh, ever had that or remember that, uh, Good smelling beer though, uh, really, really a lot of a lot of citrus on it. So it's it's uh, IPA forward rather than Belgian forward, that's for sure. So let me give it a taste. Boy, everything just blew. It's a windy day, day today too, so everything just my notes just blew off. Or fortunately, uh, hopefully they won't go far. Um, yeah, you get a get that Belgian funk right away again. A lot of that, really a lot of that uh, sweet citrus. Um, lemon, there's some pepper in there too. Maybe a little, almost a little oak. Um, definitely uh, slightly bitter and hoppy. Um, but the Belgian yeast kicks in there too, kind of mellows it a little bit. Um, there's some floral notes. Um, maybe a little apricot, a little pear. Uh, really, really crisp finish though. A really crisp... Um, uh, slightly bitter, slightly tart finish. Um, really a nice uh, smell, nice uh, tasting beer. Um, got some moderate carbonation, uh, or well, more than moderate carbonation, and uh, but it's light, uh, light, medium light bodied. It's it's fairly light beer, but a really smooth mouthfeel. Um, but you get that uh, between the the slight tartness and bitterness on the finish, along with that. Uh, that carbonation, it's a, it's a pretty crisp finish that um, kind of dries the mouth out a, out a little bit. So let me sit, let me get this uh, bottle sealed up, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's it's only been 15 minutes or so. Um, this warmed up nicely, though. It's a nice, fairly warm day, despite being so breezy. Um, 
I notice as this is as this warms up, the the fruit, the fruitiness from the uh, from the uh, hops and everything start to mellow a little bit, and the yeast, uh, especially that spiciness from the yeast, comes out a little bit more. Uh, getting a little more of that uh, like peachy funk and. Uh, the banana comes out a little bit more too. Um, you're definitely getting the banana, but uh, a lot stronger than you got before. It's uh, it's changed. Uh, it's changed nicely. Um, it's a good tasting beer. Um, it's a overall. I'd say it's a decent example of a of the style. Um, nothing super outstanding or earth shattering, but it's a darn good, easily drinkable beer. I mean, this would be a nice, refreshing. Uh, Refreshing beer in, in, in hot weather, that's for sure, or warm weather. Um, we're not quite warm weather yet. We're only in the lower 60s, but uh, really uh, definitely worth a try if you, if you can get it. Uh, I'm going to give the Stone, Cali, well that says Cali Belgique, but they call it the Cali Belgique on the front. Or no, that, that says Belgique. So it's the Cali Belgique. IPA, I'm going to give it a good solid uh, 9 out of 10. So, until next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.